Hello and welcome to our moment of hope. hope. She's feeling a little gross today. No, I just have a lot going on in my brain. Uh, and then, yeah, look, so this is the sun today. It's like hidden we, in some, we, some well, clouds. We memorized our, I, we memorized a verse. Well, I memorized a verse at our church yesterday. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, it was, uh, it was Genesis 7, 12. Rain fell upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights. Okay, Genesis 7, 12. So that's where we're going to. We're gonna hunt for some hope in rain. Yeah, so oh, that's cool, cause it's gonna rain here soon. Um, I would say it's good that God's washing away the bad people. That's good? Yeah. Ooh, that's hard. That's a really hard thing to, to work through. Cause you're like, these are human beings, you know? And a lot of people get uh, people say they're um, worn out because they're like why 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 rain fell on the earth 40 days and 40 nights wait mom is it like everybody related somehow well yeah we're all hum humans no are yeah. we all related to each yes, other yes if you trace it all back you're gonna go way 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 no are we all back. gonna be related like with someone like from our church wouldn't we be related to them because yeah in our neighbors and people on yeah the other because side of the because globe. yeah totally. because uh, yeah. because we if we trace it back it's just going to do different descendants but it's going to spread out eventually into different people yeah because that's how many people yeah it's kind of like the roots of a tree or maybe we don't want to say the roots of a tree the branches of a tree so as the branch goes out, another little branch sprouts, and then another one does, and then another one does. And, and then, then you have a whole tree that's different size. Right, but they're all connected. We're all the, the family tree of humanity. What does that have to do with this verse? Well, um, August will explain. <laughs> Where is he coming from? We can't even, August, okay, what's the hope though? The hope is Rain that- fell on the earth 40 days and 40 nights. God is destroying nights. the bad people. Mm. I had a friend who, a long time I always thought because I'm not like a farmer that uh rain is bad like like sun is good rain is bad because I'm a sunshine person and I don't like this I like super super sunny days um but I had a friend who helped me understand that there's like a verse in the old testament that says like he brings rain on the on the righteous and the wicked and or he brings sun and rain on both and uh, her thing was like, um, it's they're both good. They're both good things. And in, in agriculture, which is like farming and all the things that help us have food to eat, rain is like super, super, super good. It's like amazing. If you don't have rain, you don't have food. So rain is like a good thing, but here he's destroying the earth with all this rain. Would the crops grow? No, everything's getting covered. Everything, yeah, even to the tops of the mountains, are going to be covered. I know. So we had to find the hope right in that one verse. And this is the hardest one you've ever done, I feel like. Because it's a random... It's almost like a sentence fragment. And yeah. rain fell on the earth 40 days and 40 nights. So do you think we can do the verse before? No. <laughs> we can't add that? Okay. Well, you have to find it. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. God's destroying, like, the bad. God's destroying the bad in the earth, basically. Why is that good? Why is there hope in that? That in destruction? No, it's that he's destroying all the bad. So we have hope. That he, that we have hope that he destroyed the earth and that we didn't have, like, a bunch of way worse terrible people. Mm, so you're earth. saying it would have the earth it, as we know it today, as bad as it is, as hard and wicked and it would terrible. Have been worse, probably. Mm, so God, God Helps. swiped it clean. Yeah. He washed it clean. He gave us a good bath, if you will, in the message translation. That's one of my hunt really? that down in the message, guys. Find out where that is because I don't remember, but it's one of my favorite uh, Eugene Peterson. Okay, you don't need to. 
I, you know what? Put a link in the comment below. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So God, God takes, God destroying things brings hope because he is destroying the bad. He's, he's making space yeah. for his plan to work out, which we know is good. Yeah. And for, for hope for humanity, because there really wasn't a lot of hope at that time because it was so wicked. It says that, um, every thought and intent of the heart of man was wickedness continually. I don't know if that's, that's not completely accurate, but look it up. Genesis six. Um, this one is Genesis seven. You're in the middle. You're getting rained on. So there, there is hope in that. Now, is there hope in the destruction of fire? No. You don't think so? No. Because that's it. He said he's never going to destroy no. the earth again by water. No. What? No, there's no hope in that? Well, mm, that I think it there's would a, be the rapture. Uh, this, that's the same kind of hope is what I'm saying. Mm. There's like the same hope in that. Um, the hope is that also that we're still alive. Hey, Jack, do you want God to come spared join humanity. us? He didn't have to do that at all. Jack's going to come join us. No, Jack's not going to join us every single time. And this is six minutes. Okay. We could hardly find a hope this time. Are, it's okay. It would have been worse. Are, when are you going to end it, though? Thank you for joining. Our moment. Uh... <laughs> <laughs>